Hey, Loopline here, and there's a new add-on that's free for Scrapebox called the Scrapebox Page Scanner. So if you don't have it, go to Add-ons, Show Available Add-ons, and when the list comes up, just install it here, the Page Scanner. Once it's installed, go to Add-ons and Page Scanner. We're just going to launch it. Now, what the Page Scanner does is it actually allows you to analyze the HTML source code of a particular URL and then categorize it based off of footprints that you create. So let's kind of work through it here. So firstly uh, I'm going to need URLs. So I went ahead and scraped up some vBulletin URLs and some WordPress URLs and I just have them here and I'm going to load them in from Scrapebox Harvester here. I can also load from file. Then I can set my connections and I'm just going to leave it at 25. Now basically what's going to happen here is this is a list of URLs. This is going to be the result. So it's going to tell me um, what it is here and this is going to be the status like completed 404 that sort of thing. So first we have to edit footprints in order for this to work. So for edit footprints I already have one in here for WordPress. So on this side we have the footprint names and the name is what's going to show up in the result column here and then on this side we have the actual footprint. So what I'm telling the page scanner to do here is anytime it sees in the HTML source code one or more of these powered by WordPress uh, what WP content themes or meta name generator content WordPress it's going to show up as this footprint found and so it'll put WordPress next to this and say that that is WordPress. So let's add one for vBulletin. And so when we do this basically I already have one selected so it's asking me if I want to make a copy. I'm just going to hit no and make a new one here. So let's just put powered by vBulletin. And then I'm going to add that entry and then I'm going to call it vBulletin as my name. So then it puts the name over here as vBulletin that sort of thing and I can tick off different ones I want that sort of thing. So I'm going to take them all off here and just close this out because those are saved once they're over there and then I'm just going to hit start and as it goes through here you can see done reading page that sort of thing result vBulletin and then as we go down we'll get into the WordPress URLs I could put in 20 different footprints or platforms if I wanted to and it would identify each one and list it out here and then Air 404 those things are pretty basic the page the URL didn't load so I could put in any kind of custom footprint that I want I could put in hi how are you today and anytime that text shows up in the source code which is going to be what's on the page it w I could have it called you know high blog and it'll say high blog here so if I wanted to search for a particular element not necessarily a, a platform but other kinds of footprints or names for I don't know whatever you want contact forms or anything that you have going on for your business uh, or site or promotion marketing that sort of thing that you want to use or look for you can make a footprint for it it fully supports spaces and as you saw you can use quotations and actual HTML code and that sort of thing and you stick it in there and then give it a name and the name will show up here in the results column once it's done I can export results as well and save those off and then of course when I'm done I can exit out of it and the nice thing about it is all those footprints that we made here under edit footprints those are going to stay so even when I exit out of here and I come right back in to page scanner I don't have to mess with all that again it's all right there and then I can just tick off the ones I want to use and the ones I don't and of course deleting entries is pretty basic and then updating is you go click on it and then put in more information or take it out and hit update if you don't hit update it's not going to save it so if I went here and cleared this out and then just close without hitting update it doesn't save it see it's still there so you just have to remember to hit update uh, and you're good to go so that is how the page scanner add-on for scrapebox works